All right, let me just move it this way. Okay. Woo! Yes, 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 Lord. Back at it with another video. This is your boy, M.E., and we're going to be talking about 6 9 snitching. He's going to be serving jail time, and subscribe to Meat Magazine. Very awesome video. Very awesome channel. I love, I love, <coughs> I, I love what they got to say. So, basically, we're going to react to Tenekaji 6 9 snitching, which I'm not surprised. If he wanted less jail time, you know he's going to do it. So, let's go. Breaking news, TMZ just posted this article today, February 1st of 2019, titled, Takashi 69 Please Guilty to Nine Counts. Oh, if you like the video, comment, subscribe for more, and I'll put his link down in the section below. Let's do it. Snitches, drugs, mm -mm -mm. guns, and robberies. Here's what they wrote. Takashi 69 appears to be striking a deal with the feds. He's pleading guilty to nine counts, TMZ has learned. Takashi entered the plea on January 23rd, pleading guilty to the federal indictment. He copped to multiple counts of racketeering, conspiracy, firearm offenses, and narcotics trafficking. The rapper was initially indicted back in November and had been facing the possibility of life in prison. It's unclear what sentence he'll face now after entering the guilty pleas. According to the federal docs just unsealed this week and obtained by TMZ, 6 9 was involved in dealing heroin, fentanyl, ecstasy, amphetamines, and marijuana. God damn! What the hell? That's a lot of damn drugs! L let's go back again. Let's go back again. Because I want to hear this from the beginning, y'all. Let's do it. Today, February 1st of 2019, titled... Mm -hmm. Takashi 69 pleads guilty to nine counts, snitches, drugs, guns, and robberies. Here's what they wrote. Takashi 69 appears to be striking a deal with the feds. He's pleading guilty to nine counts, TMZ has learned. Takashi entered the plea on January 23rd, pleading guilty to the federal indictment. He copped to multiple counts of racketeering, conspiracy, firearm offenses, and narcotics trafficking. The rapper was initially indicted back in November and had been facing the possibility of life in prison. It's unclear what sentence he'll face now after entering the guilty pleas. According to the federal docs just unsealed this week and obtained by TMZ, 6 9 was involved in dealing heroin, fentanyl, ecstasy, amphetamines, and marijuana. What? The feds say the conspiracy consisted of multiple acts of murder, robbery, and extortion. In docs, the feds referred to the video TMZ first posted of Takashi boldly offering on camera a $30,000 bounty for someone to shoot cheap keep. Wow. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. Mm -mm -mm. He's going to serve some jail time. I, I think he's going to serve at least probably 10 years. I think 10 years. If he serves more, I wouldn't be surprised. At least 10 years. At the least, 10 years. This is a, uh, I, I gotta, I'll gotta. i do my commentary at the end. Chief's cousin. According to the feds, he, quote, aided and abetted the shooting at rivals of Nine Trey Blood Gang at a hotel in Times Square. As you know, someone opened fire on Keith and his cousin back in June in Times Square just days after Takashi's offer. The unsealing of Takashi's plea came just one day after three of his associates were also <laughs> indicted. We broke the story. Law enforcement sources tell us Takashi dropped a dime on the alleged trigger man in the Keefe shooting. 6 9 sentencing is scheduled for January 24th of 2020. Damn. So that's just under a year. Damn, that is next year. Oh my God. Shit. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Here from now. This was originally published at 9.16 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm going to read to you guys the update. They updated the story at 10.20 a.m. Pacific Time. So less than two hours ago, they said, We now have the transcription from Takashi's plea hearing from last week. And he opens up about how he got involved in the criminal activity and does a lot of snitching. In court, he says he joined the Nine Trade Blood Gang in the fall of 2017. And in March 20th of 2018, he admits helping members of the gang attempt to kill a rival to, quote, increase my own standing in Nine Trey. Mm -hmm. Then on April 3rd, he says he and other members robbed a rival at gunpoint. He got into the Chief Keith shooting, saying in court, quote, I paid a person to shoot at a rival member of Nine Trey to scare him. The shooting took place in Manhattan. I did this to maintain or increase my own standing in Nine Trey, 
he admits knowing a fellow gang member was the trigger man. Takashi also admitted to selling a kilo of heroin in 2017 and offered an apology for all his crimes, saying, quote, I apologize to the court, to anyone who was hurt, to my family, friends, and fans for what I have done and who I have let down, end quote. Based on what we know, Takashi has struck a plea deal which will increase the likelihood of a significantly reduced sentence in return for ongoing cooperation. Although the minimum sentence is 47 years, the way it typically works is the prosecution will ask for significantly less. Wait, what? The will ask for significantly less. Patient. Although the minimum sentence is 47 years. the way 47 years? Oh my God, he'll be dead by then. Oh my God, 47 years. It typically works is the prosecution will ask for significantly less, which is his incentive to keep singing like a canary. The problem Takashi faces by agreeing to cooperating for the next year while the prosecution dangles the carrot of a light sentence, he's increasing the possibility someone will try to silence him. By the way, he did indeed plead guilty to all nine counts. There was a discrepancy in the documents. Oops. All right, y'all. So that's the end of the article. Let me know what you think about it below. Me Magazine on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook, and MeWe. Me Magazine blog on Instagram. Me Magazine site dot blogspot dot com. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, <laughs> click the notification button. Let me know what you think about Danny Hernandez. I mean, Takashi Six Nine. All right, y'all. Me Magazine. Wow, he said Dale. <laughs> okay, let me tell you. Um. This is a sad situation for him. I mean, he put himself in a situation. You wanted to join this Treyway gang, blah, blah, blah. And now it's coming back to haunt you. I mean, Fat Joe was warning you. You didn't listen. Academics was warning you. You didn't listen. And uh, the game even was saying you're not in that life. And he didn't listen. He swore he was in this life. And it's coming back to haunt him. This is where these young kids have to be careful who they hang around with because you never know that this could happen to them. This could be them right now. I mean, you're facing a lot of years. I mean, 47 years. Holy ish. That's a lot of years. I don't know if I would. 47 years, I would be dead right now if that was me. I'm like, listen, I might as well just slip my throat and be like, bah, that's it. That way I'm not serving no years. He is done. He is done. He messed up, he made a mistake, and now all of a sudden, he's screwed. I mean, you hang around with the wrong people, you snitch, and all this started after that little fallout, after that shooting, things just starting to get worse and worse and worse, because when he started, he was coming up quickly. Of course, he should have that beef with uh, Trippy Red. They actually did a video together, and then all of a sudden, him and Trippy Red didn't get along, and then he started telling people, SMD with, I'm not going to say it, because I'm not going to get demonetized. I'm not going to get striked. No. He was telling people SMD first, I mean, versus beef with Tri Trippy Red, then the game. Oh, my God. Uh, Who else? Who else? Vic, Vic Mensa. You might as well just beef with the whole damn Sesame Street crew. Oh, my God. And then he just started just getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And, and, and it's just like, do I feel bad? I don't think so. He put himself in the situation. He screwed up his life, and now he's got to he's got to he's got to pay the price. You 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 should have he should have known better. And now all of a sudden his life is over. And now the person who's gonna lose more is his daughter. His own daughter. He won't be able to see her graduate. It's gonna be tough because he wanted to be the tough guy. And now all of a sudden, sad. So if you like this video, comment, subscribe. All right, guys. Peace.